Good evening, and welcome to Christ Lutheran Church, Roanoke, Virginia. Tonight, our evening prayer service will be a commemoration of the Emmanuel Nine. On June 17, 2015, Clementa Pinkney, Cynthia Marie Graham Hurd, Susie Jackson, Ethelie Lance, the Payne Middleton Doctor, Taiwanza Sanders, Daniel Lee Simmons, Sharonda Coleman Singleton, and Myra Thompson were murdered by a self-professed white supremacist while they gathered for Bible study and prayer at the Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church, often referred to as Mother Emmanuel, in Charleston, South Carolina. Pastors Pinckney and Simmons were both graduates of my alma mater, Lutheran Theological Southern Seminary. I had the honor of studying with Pastor Simmons while I was there. A resolution to commemorate June 17th as a day of repentance for the martyrdom of the Emmanuel Nine was adopted by the Churchwide Assembly of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America on August 8, 2019. Congregations of the ELCA are encouraged to reaffirm their commitment to repenting of the sins of racism and white supremacy which continue to plague this church, to venerate the martyrdom of the Emmanuel Nine, and to mark this day a day of penitence with study and prayer. Tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. we will have a discussion of the movie Emmanuel, about this terrible tragedy. It will be at seven o'clock on Zoom. And now let us in silence prepare our hearts and minds for worship. I'm glad. 
holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread as we forgive our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He ascended into the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us joy of your saving help again, and to be famous with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, and the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. A reading this evening from the prophet Micah, the sixth chapter, beginning with the sixth verse. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with tens of thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and walk humbly with your God? And a reading from the prophet Amos. The Lord says, I hate, I despise your festivals, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. Even though you offer me your burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. And the offerings of well-being of your fatted animals, I will not look upon. Take away from me the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the melody of your harps. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. They were doing what we are called to do as they engaged in Bible study. It was Wednesday night. A stranger walked in, and these people welcomed him and prayed together. The Reverend Sharonda Coleman Singleton, Cynthia Marie Graham Hurd, Susie Jackson, Ethel Lee Lance, the Reverend DePayne Middleton Doctor, Taiwanza Kibwe Diop Sanders, the Reverend Daniel Lee Simmons, the Reverend Myra Singleton Quarles Thompson, and the Honorable State Senator and Pastor of the Church, the Reverend Clementa C. Pinckney. This stranger wanted to ignite a race war, he said after he shot and killed them, denying them the very humanity he claimed for himself. 
claiming rights and privileges associated with whiteness. Now we are grieved once again in pain, burning and anguished, lamenting the horror of evil unleashed. And so we cry out, have mercy, O God, have mercy on us. Sorrow and heartache have come to us. Death and mourning have visited us. We feel far from you, O God, and distant from one another. And so we cry out, have mercy, O God, have mercy on us. Evil besets us in our land. We cry out against the horrors and agonies of racism, even as we remember the murders of our siblings at Mother Emanuel. We know that the brutal deaths of our black siblings continue every day. And so we cry out, have, have mercy, mercy, O God, God. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us.
divine siblings, we are called to a wider understanding of your Spirit's work in the world. They were preachers. Open us to receive the good news of Jesus Christ. They were students. Kindle in us a desire to learn and grow in your ways. They were teachers. Instill in us a passion to share the wisdom of Christ. They were coaches. Accompany us as we strive to run the race set before us. They were mentors. Inspire us through the wise counsel offered by others. They were leaders. Embolden us to seek out the best in others. They were musicians. Attune us to the sounds of your creation. They were poets. Reveal your truth in language we have yet to discover. They were barbers. Shape us as attentive caregivers to those around us. They were custodians. Protect those who work ensures our safety. They were bus drivers. Carry us as companions in life's unexpected journeys. They were veterans. Remember those who risk harm for the sake of others. They were librarians. Write on our hearts and minds the wisdom of the generations. They were advocates. Call us to speak and act on behalf of those who are silenced. They were public servants. Show us how to love our neighbors as ourselves. They were legislators. Inscribe your laws of love and justice on our hearts. In lives of faithful dedication, your servants Clementa, Cynthia, Daniel, DePayne, Ethel, Myra, Sharonda, Susie, and Taiwanza lived by your promises, sharing their gifts with those in their families and communities. May we not forget their lives taken too soon. In the years to come, let us share their names and their witness so that the world comes to know of your spirit at work in and through them. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Gracious and holy God, give us diligence to seek you, wisdom to perceive you, and patience to wait for you. Grant us, O God, a mind to meditate on you, 
eyes to behold you, ears to listen for your word, a heart to love you, and a life to proclaim you. Remember us, Lord. you have spoken through prophets. Stir up in your church a passion for your word revealed in Jesus, that following the witness of the Manuel 9, your church studies the scriptures, shows hospitality, prays without ceasing, and embodies prophetic justice in community. Embolden all the baptized to repent of racism and to renew our commitment to your word revealed most fully in Jesus, our way, truth, and life. Remember us, Lord. Jesus, Gracious and holy God, lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts, our world, our universe. Remember us, Lord. Jesus, remember me when you come into Emmanuel, God with us, you embrace in love those who cry out to you. Lift up all whom hatred has cast down. Embolden those who need courage to speak and act against oppression. Sustain those who are weary from efforts that bring no end to injustice. Comfort parents weeping for children, children who have been separated from parents families in crises of any kind. Restore hope where it has been lost, so that all may trust your love that reaches to the depths of pain and suffering. Remember us, Lord. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may move every human heart, that the barriers dividing us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, and that with our divisions healed, we might live in justice and peace. Remember us, Lord. give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Go in peace.